Hi everyone, I'm Rosie Redfield. I'm a professor of zoology at the University of British Columbia, and I teach a free online course called Useful Genetics. And I am Maria, and I am the teaching assistant of Useful Genetics. Now today we've put together a short video from a recent news story that talks about the science of aging. You might have seen this study. It suggested that a process called cellular aging could be reversed by healthy lifestyle changes. Now that sounded like a great thing, but the study itself is pretty dense and hard to understand. So we're going to start by explaining just what this cellular aging process is. Basically, it's something that happens to the ends of your chromosomes. Chromosomes are made of DNA, as you know, and when the DNA replicates, the bit at the end gets lost each time. So each new copy of our chromosome is shorter than the previous one. This isn't a big problem for most of our cells, but it's a problem for the cells that make our eggs and sperm because our children and their children's children are going to get shorter and shorter chromosomes. Evolution has solved this problem with a special structure called the telomere at the end of the chromosome. Telomere DNA gets shorter when it's copied, just like ordinary DNA, but there's a special enzyme called telomerase that can restore the missing sequences of the telomere sequence. This means that our eggs and sperm retain full-length chromosomes. But the rest of our cells still have chromosomes that get shorter. This is the phenomenon called cellular aging, which is what the research was studying. They took men who had early prostate cancer, which was being treated with what's called watchful waiting, and they divided them into two groups. One group underwent major lifestyle changes, the other didn't. The control group, they followed them for five years, the control group's telomeres after five years were shorter, but the treatment group had longer telomeres. This is the main result of the paper. Now, does this mean that if our telomeres stay longer, we won't get older? Well, the truth is that nobody knows. And although there is a lot of research about telomere length and aging, the exact mechanisms are not really well understood. So there were also a number of problems with the study. For one thing, the differences were quite small. If you look at this graph, I bet you'd have a hard time figuring out which of the spots represent the people who did were in the treatment group. And in fact, they're kind of interspersed. You see, there's a lot of natural variation from person to person in telomere length. Some people's telomeres in the control group got longer, and some people in the lifestyle changes group, their telomeres got shorter. So these effects overall could be due to chance. Another problem is the size of the study. It was very small. There were only 10 people in the major lifestyle changes group and 25 in the other group. One of the reasons for such a small study may have been that maintaining the lifestyle changes over five years was a really drastic treatment. The changes were substantial, major changes to diet, um, compulsory exercise program, stress management, social support. These were all components that the researchers provided for the 10 study people for all five years. Now, when you look at this, you may be thinking, oh, that doesn't look like fun at all. Maybe I could just take a pill. But there, although there's lots of people who will sell you pills purporting to make your telomeres longer or healthier, in fact, there's no evidence that these pills work. They're based on chemicals that did something in tissue culture studies, but nah, I would save your money on the pills. There's one more problem with the study, and that is that the researchers are selling a test for telomere health, and they're marketing it to consumers. So this creates a conflict of interest. It's in their interests to have a study that shows a big effect of telomeres because it'll make it easier to sell their tests. And should you get your telomeres tested? Well, the tests are very expensive. And again, because we don't know if there's any causal relationship between telomere changes and aging, you're probably better off saving your money. 
But longer telomeres are still better, right? Well, maybe not. Telomere shortening is actually the body's natural system to identify old cells and forcing them to die. Furthermore, cancer cells often activate telomerase, allowing them to grow and divide regardless of how old they are. This is why researchers are now looking into anti-telomerase treatments for cancer cells, forcing them to die. So, the take-home message is that, as usual, the research needs to be taken with a great big grain of salt. Now, if you'd like to learn more about telomeres, about the genetics of aging, and a lot more about genetics in general and how it affects your lives, um, sign up for our course, Useful Genetics. It's free. It's open to anybody anywhere in the world. And there's no prerequisites. We hope to see you there.